to tell. Where should I even start? With all that we saw, what we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Best to start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako, ruled by the Shinra Electric Power Company, who drained the planet of its very essence, the life stream, and processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her cries for mercy. Those who could rose up in her defense. The anti-Shinra rebels, Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strife, an ex-soldier hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor 1. In Sector 8, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. One said to symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector 7, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another prisoner, joined their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars and the catalyst of our plight. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won, and the shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began.
I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... I the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... Uh, the fall of the Sector 7 plate. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought I another reactor blew up. Which must have been zero, caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see. Ah, over there! Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. We still have one soldier right. Ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. I repeat, the fugitive is an ex-soldier, armed with a buster sword. Uh -huh. Back over here! Get him on board! Prep for takeoff! The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble! Quick! Get the camera off him! Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Too much Mako. But he'll be fine. <laughs> hey!
from her! He's got a bluster sword! Stop. All of it. But I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. got the time. Want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah. No problem. It's cool. It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utah, stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. 
Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Ugh, fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends at R12! Let's go. Was in a different league from the rest of us. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. still got parents, though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting to that. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown.
So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. We're so glad you're here. Whoa! Real soldiers! Did you come from Midgard too? Hey! Don't run away from me! The Shinra Bow Wow Wow. What do you think Sephiroth is? You boys are gonna see. home before you go. Wait a minute. Is that Cloud? Silly boy. You should have let us know you'd be paying us a visit. Sephiroth's in there right now. I'm a kill for a shot of him. But I should probably wait till later, huh? I'm eager to talk to him too, but now is not the time. Richard Sangam, a humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. Hmm. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Ah, hello there. All our rooms are reserved for you, Shinra boy, so take your pick. You'll find them just up. Huh? No. Cloud? My, my. Get a load of you. And you've only been away a couple of years.
city folk are so sophisticated. Can only imagine what their lives must be like. Oh, the survey team is the coolest. Man, why didn't I enlist like everyone else when I had the chance? Ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? Oh, whoops. I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. Be sure to rest up tonight. Got a long day tomorrow. So, what do you think of our village? Pretty nice, right? Then I stopped by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. My dad died when I was a kid, so after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time, and last. Hmm? I'll be right there! <gasps> Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home! Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my! So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud! But you know, Cloud... Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be... Okay, that's enough. with everyone? Just for a bit. Could you keep up? Ever since we heard a survey team was coming, we've been working our fingers to the bone. Weak legs betray a weak mind. Takes me back. Oh, I didn't realize the survey team was here. Thanks for coming. You really can't handle this yourself. Thank goodness Shinra's here. We're safe. Now I can go back to hanging my laundry outside without worrying. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away, and all that. Uh-huh.
at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir! Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't- Dad! Tifa, you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It means a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. One more! Yeah, I guess we were. Later. For a while. The reactor was halfway up Mount Nebel. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips? 
which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. to burn out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> yes, you really are the best there is. near the village and they're not nice what do you think I think I got this then they're all yours copy that This is how it's going to be. It doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. Pretty good. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Yeah. <laughs> 
You're done. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> You'd better. Cool. See you at the reactor.
It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes!
detected. Elevator access granted. about crossing that thing then let me go first hey I'm the guide here He's in Fate's hands now. Do you know the way? Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck.
Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Hmm? To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him, he is anything but. <laughs> we should press on.
You're done. This way.
by 20%. You wanted to be a hero. Wish I hadn't. Good things were after material. Someone should tell him what happened. Be my guest. Maybe try mixing it up more. Come on. Great! 
over. Pretty mobile. Till we knock it down. Good thing I don't just fight with a sword. I'm missing something here, but everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. civilians, even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. 
You better keep me safe. I really wanted to see the reactor. don't have a clue about this. No insulin? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. I'll tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. to your sword first? something. What are those things? Genova? Wasn't that...
What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals, infused with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako voice isn't gonna hurt a living legend. It's 
took a look around the place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. news to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer. A life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova MEGL 77 1977. Genova verified as an ancient uh, MEGL 913 1977. Genova project approved. So they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading. Reading, like a man possessed. Hmm. We got Genova. A locked reactor door, the name of Sephiroth's mother, and ancients. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you?
I should go. Mother is waiting. Hey! Hey! Hold on! I keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What? Secure the way out. Now! Yes, sir!
You have to leave. You have to live. Hey! Hey! Hang in there! You're gonna be okay! Don't worry. I got you. Come on. Let's get you up. I followed Sephiroth all the way back to the reactor. Dad and I had gone there to hide. When Sephiroth showed up, Dad decided that he was going to confront him. Dad! It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs>
promised you'd save me. If I was ever trapped or in trouble. who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet too. For I have been chosen. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! Last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because... He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright. And rule over the planet, with Genova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. 
Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. <sighs> yeah. Let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? Uh, oh, no, you don't. That bad's mine. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... Maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Cloud, you up? Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, 
five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongan found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. fight no we have enough problems as it is copy night tomorrow is another day <laughs> <laughs> 